How's it going James, onlinecarshow.net. In this video, we're gonna be going over a part two of the headlights for the Focus ST. So with that hesitation, let's go ahead and get this video started. All right, well, I wasn't originally gonna do a part two to the headlights, but I've gotten so many comments and there's been so many problems I personally have had that I did wanna put it out there and share it with you guys and as a kind of disclaimer to the part one. Before we get too far into that, I wanna go over the events and channel news real quick with y'all. Uh, I've added a mod list to the website, as y'all can see, and it's got links to every single video related to that mod. So it just makes it a little bit easier when going through, trying to find some cool stuff and ideas for your ride, uh, you know, some of the stuff I've done and so forth. So be sure to check that out. That's on onlinecarshow.net and then you click the mod list link at the top. Also, as far as channel news, uh, still waiting, but we've got the Z01 add-ons diffuser for the Camaro coming. Also planning to tint the light covers on the Focus here, so that's gonna be in a video coming up very shortly. And we've got the race coming up with Bubba Blue just around the corner, so there's a bunch of exciting stuff coming up for the channel. Please be sure to click that like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of my updates and help support my channel. Now, as far as events we've got coming up in the future, there's a Kempner High School Band car show here in Houston. Uh, it's on the west side, I believe, here in Sugarland. Y'all need to go check out this event. It's gonna be a good time. Another member of uh, United Muscle Car Family is helping host this event. So, uh, you know, it's a friend of, friend of the, the car club family and it's for a great cause. So y'all please come out, enjoy the show, enter your ride, whatever. Just come out to the show, it's gonna be a great time. And I'll definitely have Elvira out there on display. Also April 13th, we've got the second Saturday racing coming up with West Houston Muscle out at, in Sealy at Lone Star Motorsports Park. That's gonna be a great time. Hopefully gonna be gapping uh, Bubble Blue down the racetrack. You'll need to go check out his channel if you're not familiar with him. That's Bubble Blue on YouTube. Uh, and it's Bubble Blue 843 on the Instagram. Uh, now let's get back to the video at hand and go over these damn headlights. All right, well, before I start, I guess, on my rampage of them, uh, I'll start with the reason I bought them. Uh, they look really good. They were a great price. I believe it was $338 or something for the headlights. I don't remember if that includes shipping or not. For the price they were, it was a great bargain. And this is my daily driver. The Camaro is more my show car. This is more my day-to-day go-to-work car. And uh, so it wasn't a big deal as far as getting a show quality product on it in relation to the Camaro. But I did really like the way these look and the halo feature on the light, which I'll show off here by the end of the video. All in all, it was, you know, they look really good. They're smoked. Uh, I believe the non-tinted version was around 300 or 315 or something. But a uh, really good deal on them. And as y'all may know, the, head, the headlights and the Focus did not work before I purchased this. Uh, I got the car at a super good deal because it was involved in a wreck and had some really shysty body shop work afterward. Also got the uh, wheel fixed. There was a little chunk missing on the rim. Got me a rim on eBay, about $220 or something with a TPMS sensor and uh, got her mounted, balanced, and got all the tires rotated yesterday. So she's rolling smooth now. I think she's about at 100%. But to get back to these headlights, they have been a nuisance since I put them on. Uh, as y'all may know in the video, uh, there is an issue with mounting these, and I'll show a little picture here. On the back of the headlights when you're installing them, the adjustment screw sticks out so far that it actually hits the cross beam coming, in, coming across. Uh, some of y'all have complained about this on my video and so forth, and there's even a couple that have gone to links as actually cutting the adjustment screw on the headlight. That's the wrong way to go about it. You need that screw to adjust your up and down and do not touch it out of the box. These headlights are pre-adjusted and they're pretty close to perfect out of the box. So you shouldn't even have to touch that adjustment screw in the install at all. 
just to let y'all know. So the way to go about it, instead of cutting off the adjustment screw, put a small, figure out which uh, drill bit to use that's a size bigger than the adjustment screw and drill a small hole into the cross beam, allowing that adjustment screw to fit into the hole. This will stop any fitment problems and get it good snug with your hood and so forth. So that addresses the install issue I've been getting a lot of complaints on. Just so y'all know going into this, it's not a straight out of the box fit. You are gonna have to drill that small little hole in the cross beam to get these to fit. That's a lot of the way it is with a lot of these Chinese mods and it's just kind of what I'm used to dealing with them. Uh, the second complaint I've had on these, now I've only had these on the car for Oh, two or three months maybe at the most. Um, and I've already had a low beam headlight fault and the headlight stopped working. Uh, after bringing it in to Eddie, my uh, mechanic family member uh, at his shop, he diagnosed the issue and it was ended up just being one of the bulbs with the way the computer works on these headlights. Uh, it ended up screwing up both headlights and neither of them worked. So they're really cheap Chinese bulbs that they put in these out of the package. So just know that going into it, if you get a low beam headlight fault error on your screen on the focus and your headlights stop working, it's more than likely the bulbs. Also, they didn't use any di dielectric grease on installing the headlights, so that's probably the problem right there is the fact that water gets in there with those cheap Chinese bulbs and uh, they just go out super quick. So I recommend replacing the bulbs with some decent ones when you get them or shortly thereafter. Uh, other than that, they've been really good headlights to be honest with you. Uh, I really love the look of the halo feature. Uh, only one thing that's kind of weird and I know why they did it, but the halo feature does not work on automatic mode. So when you put it on auto mode, uh, uh, the halos will never be on. In the day, the headlights will be totally off just like this, and at night, just the low beam portion in the center of the headlight will be lit up. To get the halos to work, you need to use either the second or the third setting on the, uh, the light adjustment inside the car. So the second setting will give you your halos in the day, and the third setting will give you halos with low beams at night. So if you want the halos to light up in the day or night, you need to use the second or third setting. Unfortunately, the automatic doesn't work, but I think they did that just so if you want the low beams on without the halos. Uh, why anybody would want that, I don't know. I like the way they look on, but I guess that's their thinking behind doing it that way. Uh, so we, so other than those couple complaints there that are actually pretty big, uh, they've been great headlights and for the money, uh, I really can't complain too much. I still like the way they look and I'm still gonna deal with them. Uh, but I just wanted to put this video out there as a disclaimer for those that are looking to purchase it, it's some of the issues you're gonna face with these headlights. So it's not a 100% deal. And I mean, come on, they're over $100 cheaper than the next option on uh, you know eBay and Amazon or wherever. You know, it's kind of like anything else in life that you know what you spend is kind of what you get so there are a couple little issues you're gonna have to deal with in saving that money to get these headlights so now I'll go ahead and show you all some examples of what the headlights look on on the different settings I'm gonna get in the car and I'll go through uh, first setting is nothing of course that's off I'll go through the second setting third setting and fourth setting so y'all can see the different settings and how they work
So there you go, pretty much went through all the issues I've had that should cover me on disclaimers for these headlights. Uh, so, you know, just kind of use your best judgment. Is this a headlight you're looking for for your car? Are you willing to deal with these issues uh, to save that couple extra bucks? There were some more expensive options out there that I've heard and by the reviews seem to be a little bit better product. So if you're not willing to deal with this, you might go look at those. Uh, if you are willing to deal with these little issues I've had, then these are the headlights for you. But thank you all so much for watching my videos. Again, be sure to check back. We've got a lot of exciting content coming. Thanks again and have a great week.